It appears our journey together is almost at its end. We've already reached the trial of the fifth witch. I thought it'd be a quiet trek to retrieve the Yenix, but we've practically worn holes in our boots. The conflict between the Oak Jinshini and the Abets. It all began with a poisoned oak pill. We've suspected Dayan of being the mastermind, and yet... As the Oak Jinshini chief mentioned earlier, he lit only the spark. The sooner the Yenix resting in the haven of slumbering origin is extinguished, the quicker... If we succeed, <laughs> I suppose you'll be hailed as a hero in these parts as well. Look at that fox, living only for today. I hope we can find his brother. It's been some time since I've seen a place so filled with human aroma. But what will I do once I've erased the burden of this mark? Once this journey ends, I shall disappear to a corner of Balanos unbeknownst to all. Together with Jarette, I wish to work the lands there. Some children, perhaps. Three is a good number. Two sons and a daughter. If the children take after their mother, it would be quite the lively household. The fifth witch is Seth, the eye that climbed out of Hell's Depths' hungers. Only the infinite love. Seek out Gonzarig in the Highlands, and if you need my aid, send word by his hawk. You aided us at Bronte's boat, and now we are in your debt once more. No, no. We are the ones indebted to the two of you, for the Zavir Highlands are the first home of the Abets, even though one of the totems has been destroyed. And all have been evacuated due to the dread winter trees taking root all over. Dread winter trees have been sighted there as well. Ah! I'll go speak with my fleeing fuck.
The Zavir Highlands were abandoned by humans early on, so it was quite easy for us to settle down here. Gaining the wisdom of Sethra, the Witch of Rifts, did not come without its price. Let my veins spread like spiderwebs beneath the Highlands, absorb the life force of the surface. Those humans offered as living sacrifices to the witch didn't last for long, and upon the witch's demise, the settlement was quickly abandoned by the humans. We made their former first settlement into one of our own, and up until quite recently, had maintained it as such. We did so for the sake of the hawk and leopard abets, who had gone beyond the mountain of eternal winter long ago during our time in the highlands. But this too was their home. As we tended the land, we often left out some meat they enjoyed. Though they would never again return, wild animals would frequent our settlement and eat to their heart's content. Seeing this gave us some small relief, knowing the hawk and leopard abets would have some sanctuary to return to. At least, before the leopard totem was destroyed. Sethra's vase would always give off such a pleasant fragrance. It absorbed the life energy of the creatures that gathered around. However, when the totem was destroyed. The eye that climbed out of hell's depths hung us. Only the infinite life force of the Highlands can satisfy it. Only by returning the creatures to the Highlands can we overcome the witch's trial. Uh, when I was young, there was a fierce typhoon that nearly blew away all the settlements in the Highlands. Back then, I helped rebuild the Highlands, alongside my father and brother. But the Highlands are a dangerous place now. You and Lando should work on restoring the settlements. Well, I keep an eye on the Dreadwinter tree rooted in the highlands. I'll go check on the other settlements. Go check the Hawk Abed settlement. It's the closest. We perform the cleansing ri we perform the cleansing ritual of the totems with better condition than I thought. When I went to see the Fox Abed settlement, it was in complete ruins. Now you've got to hunt. We need to attract Snowfield Illy Picas or Snowfield... Where did I get the matchlock? <laughs> Don't worry about it. A con to be has a secret or three. Get moving. If you keep making excuses to... Huh?
Hawks will fly in soon enough. About the matchlock? My secret? Endless pockets, baby! When I had no idea that my father was Khan, my dream was to be a jack of all trades. Just because it seemed cool to help people by carrying all kinds of things. But my little brother's dream was to become like Muad. His dream was to climb up the mountain of eternal winter. He said that with his white fur, he'd be good at camouflage. It came out of nowhere, honestly. He only chuckled when I asked him what he was thinking. But he kept on pestering father about climbing up the mountain. That's why I made him these mountaineer clothes. I thought feeling like one might be enough to keep him here. Oh, uh, look over there. They're finally here. Next up is the home of the deer. All we need to do is attract the herbivores. They are very cautious though. There's a tip that father taught me. We need snowflake stoneback crabs. The winter flowers on their backs give off a very pungent smell. You'll find snowflake stoneback crabs hiding around the highlands if you look carefully. They used to only inhabit the mountain of eternal winter. But they came all the way down here as if sensing some strange energy from the mountain. You know, these things are worth asking what I rubbed off on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
look at me and my connections coming through again. The animals would be disappointed if we didn't have delicious fruit, right? We are here from Moslem's Euless Centron Orchard to help restore the Zavir Highlands. <laughs> I'm so very excited. <laughs> I hope they really enjoy them. <laughs> I could kind of start understanding my little brother's behavior once I knew about the Path of Prophecy. The wise Invish told us that we all take different paths, but each of us are destined to reach the end of that path. I realize now that my little brother was always walking along his path, but I haven't even found where the path starts yet. The path my little brother took was surely not one to be taken by a fox, Abats. Since we cannot climb the mountain, I think he disguised his desire with light-hearted jokes. Oh, they're gathering! Wow! W what are they? So many animals I've never seen before! We're leaving now! <laughs> Lando! So me! By the way, where has our dark son disappeared to? He's not possibly taking a nap, is he? I'll go find him and teach him a lesson. You work on restoring the Fox Abet settlement. Uh, yeah. This might require a bit of, uh, muscle power. That's why chopping trees is too tough.
Get it! Completely restored! <laughs> if I was a lady fox, I'd be head over heels! It's magnificent! <clears throat> but as a representative of the fox abets, I will bow in respect as a sign of thanks. I think they're already here! This feels good, doesn't it? If they're brave enough to venture out, why is it so hard for me to just gather the courage to climb up the mountain? I lied to my little brother. I told him that father had gone to prove that even we can climb the mountain. I couldn't bear to tell him that maybe the reason our father had been gone for so long was because he had passed from this world. No. Actually, if I'm being completely honest, I hated seeing him wake up each morning whining and crying. I thought that he'd give up if I told him that. But the next day, he was gone. He left only a letter stamped with his paw that said that he was going to climb the mountain. We can't climb it, though. We can cross the sea and travel the desert, but not that mountain. You are still very chatty. You can traverse the sea, the desert, and that mountain is... Your fear comes from the fact that you haven't experienced it yourself. I'm not ignoring the traditions of your people, but the source of your fear comes from words passed down. That's all. It's ridiculous to say that one invites death by simply climbing a mountain. Have you seen any that prove those words to be true? If I were you, I'd test their veracity myself. If you've resolved to climb the mountain, then I will accompany you. In order to do that, we must complete the trial here. I saw the incense rising from three of Sethra's vases of living souls. But something in ruin cannot be restored. Then... Ah! How about purifying that tree? We're good as long as the living souls are alive. We're just borrowing the winters. Has the world gone mad?
Now, let's go see the last vase of living souls. Ah! What was that? Can someone explain to me what just happened? There's that same foul smell that the monster at Bronte's boat gave off. Could it be that there's a... Let's go meet Gunzeri and trying to fix a problem every time one rears its head is like trying to fill a bottomless pit. You must seek out the root of the problem. A leader who fails in this will bring only chaos. All right, let's go... Let us also see to set them. There, there, good bird. By Windnoll's grace, please spread word. There is grave danger in the highlands. Thank you. We welcome you as one of our own. If I find kinship among the highland people, will I find salvation from the mess that I'm in? Look. All of the vases of living souls are breathing. Sabbat. We're already at the final trial, huh? What do you mean? Why did it take so long? The six witch is Kahel, the witch of distortion. A crown of colorful fingers bears the blood of the dragon, but no mouth to consume it. The mouth that can devour the darkest abyss was far too much for this world to bear, so it was locked away in a dark, deserted mountain to keep out of reach. The warrior of winter seeking to overcome the last witch's trial must find that mouth. If the mouth cannot be found, a void that the mouth cannot consume will overtake all. Hmm. Locked up in a dark, empty mountain so that none may approach. It's probably referring to the Forbidden Black Mountains, the old name of the Sherikon Iron Mine. Gonzarig, how do you know all- Great wings can carry the Hawk Abet's great distances. Powerful legs can propel the Leopard Abet's great distances. And with this power, they can surmount the Mountain of Eternal Winter. On the other hand, Fox Abets are skilled with their hands and are good at calculating. And Deer Abets are friendly and inviting befriending all throughout the land. They can embrace every bit of the highlands. The abets aren't the only ones who've come to the highlands. The connections I've made keep me well informed. I didn't know fox abets were good at calculating. Huh. So, then as a fox, there's no way you forgot about Prince Bahan's request. Oh, you're right! <laughs> How do you remember these things that have nothing to do with you? I anticipated you'd forget. Don't make me regret joining you, and get moving. I will find a way to get inside the den of the barbarians. Why don't you keep close to that fox so that he doesn't wander off? Lando, as a representative of the Abets, has to offer prayers of gratitude to the living souls before he leaves. Though the Khan is absent, it... I will be... 